Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if all start a devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person our channel. Then up at rito at then join sa devotional. Shout out and God bless mga members ko po. Una no, si uh, Heart Ponsalan, si Mami Rose Crop, si Yans TV, si Connie Vlog at Ping Berto po. Kaya let's proceed sa pag shout out sa mga pumunta rito sa devotional. Shout out to Juan Anthony Balmoria, Leo Bacoteco, Kim Incason, Mary Jane Esparis, Tain Dimarig, Ronald Amihana, Hilia, Rosa Russo, Trexy Claire, Aslim Morino, Hershey's Imihas, Felix Dopo, Adrian Omanya, Samantha Camille, uh, Janie Ababon, Neil Bisnar, Dale Ramos, Lirian Joy Lobitos, Arnie May Rojas, Casey Cajato, Kim Brian Lago, Roshane Santos, Vin Lawrence Chonko, Friends Yandug, Andre Abanid, Nathaniel Abilia, Michaela Lazaro, Dominic Da Omar, Mark Martinez, Blessery Chavez, uh, Michael Aburita, SSC TV of Korea, Jocelyn Custodio, Retro Blog, Jonas Salondaga, Pingbert Tolpo, Honey Love, Jerry Abok, Ashley Morino, Heart Ponsalan, Mami Rose Crop, Ian's TV, and Connie Black. Shout out na rin sa mga hindi nakisabay na manood at makinig sa devotional, but still, napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all, guys. TV So guys, did you express miracles as what we have uh, shared last night? Doing good things. Sana ginawa natin yan, no? Na we have done good things in order to glorify God. I guess it's not verse 30 verse now. Let's open our Bible to Luke chapter 6 verses 12 to 26. What I'm reading is about the 12 apostles and blessing and woes. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the word choose is so simplified na maintain talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Luke chapter 6, verse 12 to 26 says, One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountain to pray and spend the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and closed 12 of, and chose 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, his brother-in-law, James, John, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alpheus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He went down with them and stood on a level place. A large crowd of his disciples was there, and a great number of people from all over Judea, from Jerusalem, and from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Those troubled by evil were cured, and the people all tried to touch him, because power was coming from him and healing them. Looking at his disciples, he said, Blessed are those who are poor. For yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hungers now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when you hate, when men hate you, when they exclude and insult you and reject you and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in the day and leap for joy, because great is your reward in heaven. For that is how their father treated the prophet. But do to those who are rich, for you have already received your comfort. Woe to do to you who are well fed now, for you will go hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all men speaks 
well of you, for that is how their fathers trailed the false prophets. Amen and amen. I guess let's not pray. <clears throat> Lord, what we have read, Lord God, is about the opposite of the things that happen. Every time we, there's always an opposite. We have a time to mourn and a time to be happy. Time of plenty and a time of nothing. A time of sumptuous eating and a time of nothingness. Lord, teach us not to be in this woods, oh God, but instead teach us to be blessed because you are there. Your power is so strong that you can even do mighty things for our life, oh Lord God. Lord, teach us to experience your mighty power from all those what we have need, all those what we have needed, and all those what we have prayed. Lord, teach us to overcome all those obstacles, all those hindrances of our living. Lord, sana may experience in namin yung life of abundance because of your great power. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So the focus verse we have for this evening, guys, is found in Luke chapter 6 verses 20 to 22. Pero sinert ka po na lang ito, no? And it says, Blessed are you who are poor, who hunger now, who weep now, when they reflect your name as evil because of the Son of Man. So the title of the boss for this evening, guys, is True Power. As a child, Lando dream of finishing college, getting a high-paying job, and becoming wealthy. He yearned to live the informal settlers community where he lived and live a life of prosperity. More than money, however, he says today, I yearn for power. I wanted people to look up to me and to do my bidding. Lando met the Lord when he was 17 and is now past a pastor of a village church in Cebu City. Although no longer poor, I'm certainly not rich today. He smilingly shares, but I'm powerful because I have the Lord's power. Amen. Let's claim that, guys. If we have God, then we also have the power. A great crowd had gathered around Jesus with many trying to touch him because power was coming from him and healing them all in verse 19. Here we have the all-powerful Lord of the universe ministering to humanity. Being God, Jesus could have used his power to demand submission from the people and even make them fear him. Instead, he told them, as he teaches us today, that true power means following the values of, the, of his kingdom. Meekness, trust, patience, faith, humility, obedience to God, and the courage to follow Him, whatever the cost. As what we have read in verses 22, 22. At the end, then yung memory verse natin, the focus verse we have for this evening. By following Jesus, we experience true power. His, our faith, won't be in vain, as what we have read in verse 23. And Jesus reminded us, by his example to constantly spend time in prayer so that we can live by his power and guidance this day. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, no, I know you have power. Okay, ito. Sample ko to, no. Nasa isip natin na if the dog would do all, ooh, ooh, lalo na pag gabi, what comes into our mind is nakita na sila ng ibang spirito. Try to rebuke it. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Stop. Whatever spirit you have, stop it now. Lord, cover us with your precious blood so this enemy cannot touch us. And I know it will become effective. I have been doing that many times, especially when I have with young people, young children who are afraid of that owling of the dog. 
Then I prayed in front of them. And they say, wow, Kuya Chan, the prayer is so effective. Try it, guys. Even in that simple way of praying, rebuking the enemy, God is really giving us power. Kaya nga maraming ano, pumupunta ka sa, uh, laging sumusunod kay Jesus Christ everywhere He go because they know that God has power. Na matas lang nila yung cloak ni Lord, part of the robe He is wearing, they will be healed. Guys, we cannot touch God literally at this time, but God is with us. That if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, then the Lord is with you because He is now living in our heart. Guys, I know God gave us power. Try to do what I have suggested you to do. And share to me and chat me if it's effective to you. I guess that's not praying. Lord, help us to follow you with all our heart. Amen and amen. Guys, following Jesus would mean power from him. God bless us all guys because I know God show our best is 10 times better. This again, Richard Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo bulit. Ang sumuli. Paalam!